on occasions the client will ask you to unfold angle profiles and in those cases we need to use a polybean profile to be able to unfold it. If we modelled these sort of members as just simple angles, for example here I've got an equal angle and if I pick a point from there to there, it gets me an angle profile but I can't unfold that. So to model a polybean profile it's quite a, a convoluted process. Uh, I've created some points here so I've just speed up the process a little bit. But if we go to the polybeam command and I'll just simply trace around those points and then middle button of the mouse and it's gone by default to the angle profile, the last profile I've used. So if I change that to now profile 10 by I'll just say a thousand for now and hit modify. We then need to change rotation and we're getting closer to it but now I need to change the position on plane and then if I need to make it full length of that grid there I need to either know what the grid length is or uh, go and measure it. So I can't measure the length that I want so it's four meters and I come back here to the profile and change that to four meters. So it's quite a tedious process to model in a bent plate as we would model in a beam. So what I've created is a tool that will input a bent plate simply by picking two points. So if I double click on the component, the properties in it are quite simple. It, we just nominate the thickness of the plate and leg lengths and then if you want a radius we'll leave it zero to start with. And it's really just a case of then picking the two points and it simply puts in that. However if we select objects in components and double click on it, it is a bent plate so that can be unfolded. If we come back into the properties of it, all the adjustments can be made so we can make it a, a thicker plate if we wanted to. We can increase the leg length of either side and we can introduce a radius if we want to have a radius in that corner there. So it gives you much more flexibility and control than you would have um, if you're modeling it using a polybeam profile. And like any beam properties once it's configured, it's just a case of going around and picking the points which is much simpler than modelling in a polybeam. For more information or to purchase a component, please go to my website at www.techconservices.com.au.